All right, we're here with Randy Porter and Jason Rogers with Ohio Cat, and uh, they're going to walk us through how a uh, Klaus Lexion combine handles the grain and uh, how the crop flow goes through the machine. So. Okay, so we're going to be pretty basic because we can't see a lot into the machine, but we're going to give you a pretty good idea. This is a Lexion combine. The Lexion is a hybrid machine. And when we say hybrid, referring to threshing and separating, up front here we have a traditional threshing cylinder that's running across the machine. Going back behind that we have twin rotors. So as opposed to being a conventional thresh or a straight rotor machine, this one is pumped. So the first thing that happens with whatever type of crop you're using, you have the head which is harvesting. That feeder house has chains uh, and paddles in it that pull it up into the machine. This is where the Lexion combine is different because right where that crop flow enters the machine we have paddles on a drum. Underneath there it's open to cleaning pads. So before that crop ever touches a rasp bar, 30% of it can be threshed out up front. That's unique to the Lexion and that's one of the reasons why we have such a high capacity. From there we go to a second drum, which is our threshing drum. That one has traditional rasp bars and it flows over top of a wire concave or a round bar concave, which is really getting aggressive and rubbing that crop and getting all of those grains out of it. From there, we have an impeller. We talked about the rotors that we have. The impeller is what's taking that crop, splitting it into two crop flows and running it into the rotors. As that runs through the rotors, they're 13 foot 9 inches long. Any grain that's left in there is going to get threshed out very gently and efficiently going all the way back. From there they drop into our chopper where that material is sized up and spread out evenly across, uh, across the fields which makes the decomposition better, makes it working into the ground better, and makes the planting in the spring that much easier. So we've talked about the crop, now we talk about what happens when that grain gets threshed out. In the machine, we have shaker pans that are taking that grain, shaking it, the heavier grain settles to the bottom, and the lighter material, the chaff, is suspended. At that point, it falls over a little ledge where it's blasted with a high velocity, low volume of air. And once that happens, most of that is being blown right out the back. We've got screens, a top screen and a bottom screen. They're called sieves. We can adjust the width of their opening to allow whatever size grain we have to fall through. So now we've used air and screens to get a pure good clean grain, it falls to the bottom, comes to a cross auger, comes up this clean grain elevator into our grain tank. If we do have something unthreshed, this is our tailings auger, so if something doesn't get threshed out, it falls back through, it comes, it runs back through the machine again so that we can thresh every bit of, of, of grain out. Once it's in the grain tank, would have a grain cart or a trailer come up, we fill it, it goes to the elevator and then it turns into food for America. So uh, that pretty much covers it on a very, very, very bird's eye view of what's going on. But at the end of the day, these are like giant factories moving through the field in that they cut, they clean, and they collect. So uh, really that's about it. All right, well, thanks for the interview. Thank you.